Okay, for this next project, what we're going to do is use the pen tool on a curvaceous object like this orca whale here. Um, and we're going to, again, create a mask. There's going to be a couple steps that are a little bit different than our geometric stop signs. We're going to jump here into Photoshop, press Command-0 to go full screen. I'm going to grab my pen tool. And like we've been doing, uh, we're going to go around and I'm going to create a selection with my pen tool. Now, right in this area, I can sort of just drop anchor points. But once I get into this area where it starts to curve, I'm going to have to sort of be aware of what these look like. I'm going to slowly draw out handles like so. Now, if I make a mistake, notice right here, I've sort of, I'm outside of the line. I can press the command key, and then I can reposition that anchor point to get it lined up, and I can reposition the handle in order to sort of go as I, as I am here. Now I'll just keep on going. I want to try to use as few anchor points as possible in order to create the best possible selection. Notice right here, I'm gonna go on the outside of the fin. I'm not gonna cut in this way. So I'll do this in pretty much just one fell swoop. I'm gonna press Option to resize that next handle. And you'll see right here, I'm gonna sort of keep on going. If I make a mistake or I need to make any sorts of adjustments, I can do that. I'm gonna keep on moving, press Space Bar to pan around. I'm going to try to get this shape as, as close as I can. And again, I can go back and I can sort of adjust my anchor points as needed. And come here, make that one sort of a smooth little curve right here. In the background, you'll hear children's music from my son's toy. But well, that's okay. We'll keep on going around here. I'm going to sort of guess where the shadow ends and where the fin begins. And remember, holding Option or Alt if you're on a PC is going to allow you to adjust that second handle. So watch me as I go around. I'm just going to keep on going. Press the space bar, move things this way. And this is just pen tool work like we've been doing all semester. I get right here. I'm going to come around the back end and I'm going to try to do this tail on as few anchor points as possible. So, what I want to do is use this pen tool to get a nice, smooth selection made of this whale. So, notice right here, I'm going to want to come back and adjust this one. So, remember, option is going to allow me to sort of adjust. Either option or command is going to allow me to adjust those handles. I'll keep coming over here, adjust that, and I'm almost done here. I'll try to get the detail of this little part of the tail and click back where I began. All right, so now I have this compound path made, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my paths. And I'm going to right click, make it a selection, hit OK, go back to my layers and add a mask. So I've gotten rid of that background, but I still have this middle part that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to add another pen tool path. So I'll click right here and just spread that out to there. Press Option, get rid of that second handle, and then close that out. And again, paths, right click, make a selection, hit OK. I don't want to add a second mask. I already have the mask, so I'm just going to adjust my mask. So I'll grab my black brush, my brush tool, the color black, and then on this mask, I'll just mask out that area. Notice that I have not used the eraser tool. If I press uh, right click on the mask and go to disable layer mask, I can go back. So this is non-destructive editing, but I want to keep my mask. So now go ahead and file, save as, and Make sure you save this as a PNG called orca end .png. Save, hit OK. Now go ahead and also file save as, save this as a Photoshop file. So orca end, actually orca working .psd. Again into our October folder and hit save. All right. 